Welcome back, lads and lassies. Dual Death Lucario here, and welcome back to some Pokemon Tournament 3v3 battles. And with Cesar wrapping up soon, I decided that now that we've got the 3v3 system, to do something when I've about finished up with the character, and that is bring them into a 3v3 situation. So I've got Cesar, Shadow Mewtwo, and Lucario. Mostly I swapped out my champ here because Cesar and Shadow Mewtwo cover each other's bad matchups almost amazingly. So I decided to go with it. Unfortunately, we are an opponent who hasn't got any wins, but he's going to play the Zard. That's fine with me. I didn't see who else he had. I think he had Garchomp. Throw my swords at him. Let's get the punch in. Okay, I didn't think he'd be hit with that. Let's get Swords Dance. Let's back up. Get another Swords Dance. Okay, he's coming in. Okay, that's not punishable by 5Y. 5Y is a little slow on Scizor, and it's the only thing I don't really like about him. I can hard punish that, though. Alright, well, Frame Trap. I actually got the, the um, Just Frame on x -Scizor. I've not been practicing it, I've just been decided to try it, and that's a perfect. Yeah, we always take the first opponent we get. I feel so dumb. I was trying to record this earlier, and I spent 20 minutes looking for an opponent. I was thinking, why can't I get anyone? And then I realised I left my versus code on, and no one was in the room but me. <laughs> the minute I turned it off, I got this guy. That is so dumb. But we got Chomp. I don't know how Scizor does against Chomp. Oh. I didn't realise that's what he was going for. If I did, I wouldn't have thrown stanced. Don't try and drop your shield afterwards. That, um, 6A into Swords Dance. The sword is a true combo and you can't dodge it. It's a block string. You can't dodge it. Right. Good block, good block. Spend the win. See, you don't have to home it, you can go for that too. Cesar running a train on these people. Now we had to deal with my champ. Yeah, I hope to show off Shadow Mewtwo and Lucario. I have been practicing working I have I am working on new tech for my Shadow Mewtwo. Like I'm starting to incorporate teleport more into my playstyle. I actually do have a lot of work to do with Shadow Mewtwo to optimize my play with him. That's fine with me, and now we'll frame trap him with Bullet Punch unless he jumps. Don't jump, please. That's so annoying. The fact that that's not a true flip frame trap. Oh, I thought I'd go for that little cross chop. Oh god! I saw that, but I couldn't react to it. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm gonna punish that. Nice bread and butter combos. Right, Excessor is punishable. Well, but just Dream is punishable. Yeah, that has a lot of range when you're in burst. And stick my knee into him to wrap it up. Nice scissor sweep. Yeah, back when I played Decidueye, this update wasn't out, so I couldn't play 3v3 with Decidueye. But it's out for scissor, so we'll do this for every character now. I'll get someone else. I don't know if I want to lead um, scissor or Shadow Mewtwo, but I'm just going to stick with leading scissor. Okay, I legit give up. I could not, for the life of me, find an opponent. On the, on the ladder. I sat here for like 20 minutes trying to find someone. So I gave up and went to Discord and asked if anyone there wanted to play. And I got someone back and his name was Wimit Break. Yeah, he spelt that wrong on purpose. And I can't pronounce it. But anyway, I'm just going to take this until the end because I cannot for the life of me get anyone. But he's starting out with Garchomp. That's okay with me. I don't mind Chomp. Ooh, nice! I've actually never seen a Garchomp do that before, and despite the fact I play Fuwag and RP a lot. Okay. 
I'm not sure that's the combo. Yep. I'm patient with my Garchomp. I was going to grab in the first place, but I hesitated. Yeah, please block on. Wake up! Okay, try and punish that. Oh god, okay, he got behind me. But I thought he would commit to Dragon Claw. I fucked that up! Ah, I thought he'd go for the grab. That's fine. I thought he would CDC into grab. I should have, um, GX'd. Or went for the aerial ace. But I'll go Shadow Mewtwo now and I'll try and get a quick win. Try and get just a quick win with Shadow Mewtwo. I'm very experienced in this matchup. I play Garchomp with Shadow Mewtwo a lot. Is he gonna pop burst? Nope, he's gonna catch his flamethrower. Uh, hopefully we don't get the Shadow Mewtwo Ditto. I don't want to do that. I don't mind fighting Crow Gunk. Ah, crap. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not like Toys at the Prab. I don't want to do a Shadow Mewtwo Ditto. I'll do it, but I don't like doing Dittos with Shadow Mewtwo. But he had Crow Gunk, and who's Crow Gunk's partner? Sylveon. I've got Jirachi. I would pop Burst immediately, but the fact that he can also pop it is a little annoying. Right, we got this. Okay, went for Swords. Oh, he did not! Considering I teleported to try and get past that. Okay. Wow! Pressing buttons much. That's fine though, because I got power. I have the power. My friend. Very not good idea. This is going to sting. That is rage boosted Jirachi. Had a feeling you jump. Okay. That was a nice attempt to try and get past me, but I was going for my, my uh, pretty much unblockable in the first place. 5 wine to grab. But that burst is, that's why burst Shadow Mewtwo is not safe at close range. So we got Gunk. I don't mind taking on Gunk with Lucario. Oh, the cool Gunk main and the... Right, he can armor with, um... Jab. I wasn't sure that was punishable, but... Very good position for me to be in. And that is a win for Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo carried... I am much better with Shadow Mewtwo than I am with Sizzler. Much better. Okay. Yeah, we'll play for the 20 minutes for the usual episode, but what I'll probably do is then I'll play off camera. What'd I get? So, why else has I got a lucky bonus? So, we'll do the run back. Uh... Alright, so we're getting into the next game. Simply because of who my opponent is using, I've chosen to lead Shadow Mewtwo instead of Scizor. I'm debating actually switching Shadow Mewtwo out for Machamp. I think if I had Machamp here against Garchomp, another Shadow Mewtwo, that we would do well. M Machamp can do well against both of those characters. Anyway, just play my trap game. Oh, come on, that damn tornado. That damn tornado, that was not fair. I, I meant to flamethrower. Whoa, what the hell? 
I meant to vortex. I don't know what's happening. That'll be dead. Or not. Hello. We're not taking chances. Oh. Oh, that speed boost. He got himself a speed boost with vacuum pressure and I nearly got hit by it. Good thing I reacted accordingly. I didn't actually react, I just entered an input. I don't like sharing music dos! But so if I can get one phase shift after popping Jirachi, I will be very close to my burst. And I will go for it. Uh, Garchomp is the final one. I'd rather not take on Chomp with Lucario, but I'm better with Lucario, so I might just do that. Alright. We're popping this right away. Maybe why you should play a little slower. Don't have time for a vortex, so we're just gonna pop burst. Now we do. Vortex City. And now Chomp. I think this guy is the best with Chomp, from what I've gathered. But I have a lot of experience against Chomp, Shadow Mewtwo, because I play it a lot against uh, Fuwig and RP. Well, mostly Fuwig. I was a bit too far away for that. Wow, you love to get hit with Vortex, don't you? Again! Hello! Shadow Mewtwo Beast Mode! Oh, he's actually going off now. Okay, GG's. Uh, I know what I'll do. I'll head into the main Europe Discord and see if I can find an opponent. So, I'll be right back with the next opponent. Okay, so I went onto the EU Discord and I got someone... I actually got Kimo, also known as Cancer Fan Fairy. He is actually a fan. And he's one of my most longest-running fans. Kimo has been a fan of my channel since the old days, since before DreamHack, so like early this year. He's been... Okay, so... And he's... we've been wanting to play for a while, but he hopped on the chance to play 3v3, and we're just gonna play them. I knew Pikachu, Decidueye, and Shadow... and Decidueye and Gengar were coming out. Pikachu, Decidueye, and Gengar, okay, that's what I meant to say. And I'm a little scared of these three. I know Kimo has a very, very good Gengar. Like, his Gengar is easily best in Europe without a doubt. But I'll see what I can do against Pikachu and... Okay. I kind of messed up my inputs. Pikachu was not the character I wanted to match up with first. I went too high on that. Ah, if I armored that. Ah, I should not have side strike. I should have just blocked. This is not going to be easy with Scizor in the back. This is not going to be easy with Scizor in the back. I would have actually been better leading with Lucario and having Shadow Mewtwo as my backup plan. But I only intend to play two games simply because of time. Uh, yeah, but two games will do. How do you get past that? That move is so dumb. We're going to get our Swords Dance bow. Like, I can cancel it out. Get hit with this, damn it! Okay, nice trade. I've got him. Let's get our sword stance. Yeah, but he's just gonna jump! Because I have virtually no anti-airs. Okay, I didn't mean to commit to that. Oh, I thought I could backdash out of that safely. Damn forward, why? It's been to win. He does have Eevee, which is going to make this a little annoying. Yeah, right there. Right, nice. I'm not playing your game. 
Get out of here. Oh, wait. Well, at least I have a defense buff. I know that's a thing that can happen, but... If only he wasn't in burst, I'd be fine. I need to wait out his burst. But he can timer stall me. And that hits me. I meant to stop. I meant to stop. Sinner's inputs can be a little rough. There's no way I'll be able to handle this with just Lucario. I can easily take on Pikachu and I might be able to take out Decidueye. But Gengar is going to be a little tough for Lucario. Especially because Kimo's Gengar is really good. Let's see what I can do. I'll pop Jirachi right away and just get some energy. Get some burst. And the times me and Kimo has played, I think we've only played... We've only played like two or three times. Really? You think I'd have experience in this matchup for the amount of times I played Miller time? Damn you, Kimo. If he bombs burst, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I done that too early. Damn it. Nope. Oh, I held that counter down all the way. I will be able to get Burst here immediately, and if he goes Gengar, I'm going to take full advantage of that. I'm going to take full advantage of the fact that Gengar can't get a Burst to, to fight back. Goes to Situate, it's going to be a little tougher. Right, I think what I need to do is try and win Field right away and deny him Meter. Yeah, that's what I need to do. He doesn't want me calling Jirachi. Ah. Oh, it didn't actually hit me. I have burst. Nice. That acrobatics didn't work out. But he'll be able to get burst with Gengar, and that's what I'm really scared of. Oh. Okay, he's got burst. I couldn't react to that, and my burst was about out. Oh, he waited. He waited. I'm used to people just running in. See, Kimo's good, and I'm used to playing bad players on friendlies. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do here is cut out the in-between stuff and get the last, and be back with the final game against Kimo. I'm Joe Fukayo. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a nice day. Darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again But 